we're all busy people, mm -hmm. right? And cooking certainly can often become a chore instead of fun and healthy. For one local chef, though, she's trying to make time in the kitchen a little bit easier. Joined this morning by a uh, local chef who is famous Absolutely. around the whole world. She is so <laughs> And she's still at it, still making wonderful tasting things. Yeah, I'm actually a homemaker, too, right? trying to do the best she can with what I've got. See, that's <laughs> awesome. That's what we're I love here. it. I'm not like I'm we'll not. go with that. All we're right. talking what you got okay. Southwestern cooking, and what is it, 9:44 in the morning? Well, all the recipes. Yes, I'm going to switch with you. Okay, yeah. all the recipes you are from the newest book. People's Fast and Frugal we'll Cookbook. Yeah, but yeah, get us so as what? far away no, 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 from food and cooking implements as gonna, possible. <laughs> what, what I've done is brought the ingredients. Mm -hmm. All the recipes are made just like all the Busy People Cookbooks are, with mm -hmm. seven ingredients or less. Oh, wow. Now, what I've oh. used for this is salsa, mm -hmm. chicken, uh, chicken bouillon, bouillon yeah. and the canned chicken, corn. And what I did is I took corn tortillas, cut them up. And will you do the taste test? Oh, yes. I would Here, I'll hold this while Here's you do the spoon. spoon. You want to do the okay. spoon with the Look gold it, spoon. Look at it, it's a gold spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Well, she gave us a choice. Born with a gold spoon in my mouth. What <laughs> well, I love is that you still, you always have stuck to the seven ingredients or less. And always low fat and no yes. more than a half hour max. I love mm. it. Do you like that? that? Mm -hmm. He likes spicy foods. So and then, I do. And then what we did is we made homemade Tortilla chips. Oh, mm -hmm. dipping? Of, or I, no. Love no. it. You oh, can use it with your soup. So okay. this whole meal has. Don't you wish you were in the middle? <laughs> uh, well, I get the sweet stuff. I get the sweet stuff here. And that's how she's tasting. Happy oh. birthday! Thank you, lady. I love that. Thank you. Mm. It was, it's not. And are they good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all these are. are what do you have? To these put are just corn tortillas, and then I sprinkled oh, them with good. taco seasoning mm. and light salt, mm. and baked them in the oven I after got I sprinkled. Yeah, yeah, and we have some Love salt these. and pepper ones too. So they're very, very. You know, this is this is good because it's you know low in fat, but these taste excellent. Mm -hmm. So all right, right, let's get to the desserts. I'm Next, sorry. we're gonna make <laughs> Don't a homemade you. apple pie in a half hour or less. A mm -hmm. so they have a pie. super flaky crust, Ooh. and there's some very specific things that we did. Here, you can head down there, Don. Yeah, okay, that's great. Fine. Yeah, it's phyllo dough, right? Yes, yeah, so we took phyllo dough, and phyllo dough I used to be scared of, but they don't need to be. It's, yeah. It comes in thin sheets. It's in the freezer section. Spray each sheet with non-fat cooking spray in between. Mm -hmm. Then press it down. Then, which I love the way this puffs up, and, it, and you're right, it can be intimidating to work with mm -hmm. because you know it's so delicate and everything. But if you keep it under a damp cloth, I understand it doesn't rip as well. And you know what? As Our much. recipes go so fast that yeah. you don't even need to worry I don't about even that. Worry about, yeah. So here well. we have the crust. All I did is took scissors and cut it off. Oh, I love we that. We bake this for about six to seven minutes. So we're going to bake this in the oven. Okay. And as that out, baking, oh, you did a good job! Right. Right. <laughs> That's the first thing I touched. Didn't ruin it. All as right. that was we baking, that. we and cut the rest. Brown. Yeah, we cut the rest of the phyllo dough up, mm -hmm. and we added. Oh, cool! Look at this right here. We added brown sugar, oatmeal. And, believe it or not, pumpkin spice instead of apple pie spice because there's one secret ingredient. How do you like the taste of the... Oh, that's good. So that then we put so the crumb good. topping in along with, while this is baking. Okay. Oh, then awesome. we take the apple pies, and you can see I don't use name brands. I love Walmart's Great Value Brands. It works out great. I awesome. just I just use the can. And this is yeah. like... Sugar-free apple cider mix. There you go. Stir these two together. You want to take a little yep. taste of that? Oh, can, should I put it in? Yeah, but go okay. ahead and take a little taste oh, of I it will. just so you can. Hold on, I certainly will. And then so microwave. So those are microwaving for just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. So then we oh, put it all together. My germs. I'm trying not to do that. Yeah. Dan doesn't mind. Mel doesn't even have germs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. All right. And then we take the crumb topping. This is very cool. Sprinkle it on top. All right. There you go. And you are all set. The birthday girl has homemade pie that she just. You know, I've always been intimidated by making a pie, and everybody's been glad about that. But intimidated no more. I know. I am not because that.